Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you could see, uh, I have changed my background a little bit and uh, I'm actually trying out uh, my natural lighting for filming for today. Uh, I do enjoy filming in my ring light and everything but uh, it's just such a hassle to set up everything for filming and this is such an easy alternative and I'm really enjoying the quality of my video for today. I already filmed another video before this so I'm really enjoying this natural lighting. If you guys like this uh, new setup of mine, please do let me know. Uh, I will continue to uh, film in this setup. So yeah, let me know if you guys uh, like the quality and all of that good stuff in the comments down below. Okay, so for today's video, I will be starting off uh, my monthly favorites. Uh, as every other YouTuber on YouTube, uh, I wanted to start off this um, series as well. Now, for me, I don't usually always uh, buy new products every month, so I don't know how this is actually going to go for me. But I really wanted to uh, film my monthly favorites from now on for this year. I really want to work hard uh, towards my channel and improve it for you guys as well. So yeah, uh, I have gathered a couple of products which are in my monthly favorites for January and I'm really excited to share them with you all. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first favorite for the month of January for me has been my nail glue and this is from the brand KISS and it is the KISS Precision Nail Glue. I have been um, dealing with broken uh, nails uh, for the past couple of weeks and I really wanted to grow them out uh, and they started to peel off some of them and it was really like I was really sad and I didn't want to cut them so I did some research online as usual and I came up with this uh, nail glue trick and the tea bag trick. Uh, if you guys don't know what it is, you should look it up. Um, it's really cool actually. So this way you don't have to, every time your nail chips off, you don't have to uh, cut them off completely. You could actually use that trick. Um, so for me, I have been using this nail glue and um, I'll show you guys this fingernail. This fingernail actually uh, broke off right here in the line and I didn't want to cut the nail completely off. So I just put some nail glue and I put... Um, <clears throat> my next favorite which I'm about to show you guys right after this I put that and then on top of that I applied my nail polish and it is so like great it, do it doesn't even look like it was broken in the first place and I didn't have to cut them off I really hate cutting off nails um, which are like you know okay so this is broken I'll cut them off and then the rest of them are long I don't know for me all of them have to be the same length unfortunately this one actually broke the other day so I had to cut this off but whatever it's fine with me so yeah I've been really enjoying my nail glue if you guys uh, are dealing with broken nails you should definitely use a nail glue and um, it should work out great for you all right so my second favorite has been um, and I think this is my favorite out of all the products that I'm about to show you guys uh, and it is the OPI nail envy nail polish um, it is a nail strengthener actually from OPI and this has been very much raved about everywhere like I cannot believe that I got to know about this so late and I finally jumped on the bandwagon and I really wanted to see what the hype is all about and I really really wanted to grow out my fingernails this time so I really wanted to get a good quality nail strengthener it is a bit pricey I think it's about $18 but I got it from Ulta and I used my uh, coupons that they provide so it came out to be around $15 but it's definitely worth it it does take a couple of weeks to see uh, results so I didn't take any like before shots or before pictures of my weak nails but this is what I can show you guys right now I will zoom you guys in So these are my nails right now. These used to be um, like transparent, like the top part. I really don't know what to, like, do they have a name for it? I don't know. Um, so these used to be like transparent and you could really tell they were weak. They would always chip off and break and whatnot. And I really, really wanted to make them strong. So finally, um, I took off my nail polish yesterday and I finally started to notice that these all are turning white. And you know your nails are strong and are good when you're 
like the the tip of the nails are white so I'm really really enjoying this this as I said broke yesterday so I had to cut it off but I'm really enjoying this right now and I highly recommend it hold on And I highly recommend this nail strengthener if you guys are suffering uh, from brittle, weak nails and, and you really want to uh, make your nails strong. I really highly recommend this uh, product and I've been enjoying it so much. I'm so, so happy I finally bought this. It was definitely worth every penny. So yeah, you guys should definitely give this a try. Alright, so my next favorite is actually a face primer and it is from the brand e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. They have a variety of other um, primers as well in the same line. They have a purple one which is for, I forget what it is. They have a green one to counteract any redness on your skin and uh, this is the one for pore minimizing. And I absolutely love it. The consistency is amazing and I love the fact that it comes with a pump. I wish all like foundations came with a pump that would make life so much easier so I really love the fact that this primer has a pump and it has uh, the silicone texture and it blends in really smooth on your skin and it does have a slight powdery floral scent to it which doesn't bother me at all it goes away but it's very silicone-y it has that silicone texture to it so yeah it makes my foundation last for a very long time it is so inexpensive i believe it was three or six dollars at um target and i actually got mine from um century 21 if you guys don't know what it is it's actually like a department store where you get all like designer stuff at a very discounted price so i got mine from there and i believe i'm pretty sure it was um six dollars but it was so worth it it is um 0.47 fluid ounces i think it's gonna last me for a very long time it's very it's a very nice and expensive drugstore primer so love this one next product that i'm gonna show you guys is what i'm actually wearing on my cheeks today and it is it is it is the wet n wild pearlescent pink blush i haven't picked this blush up in a while and i decided to use it today for my valentine's day makeup tutorial and it is such a pretty shade uh let me do a swatch let me tell you, Wet n Wild blushes are really, really pigmented. So that is one swipe <clears throat> and it's really beautiful. It's such a gorgeous um, peachy corally blush. This almost reminds me of the Coralista blush. So if you guys don't want to splurge on it, you could definitely get this one. I feel like it is a great dupe. It has um, a little like <clears throat> glimpses, not glimpses, it has a little... Um, gold specks to it so it works as a highlighter as well and I really love it it's so inexpensive I believe it was only like two dollars so I really think it's a great dupe for Coralista blush from Benefit if you guys don't want to splurge you should definitely try this blush it is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and I really love it and I'm so glad I started using this again <laughs> all right so my next favorite has got to be this BH Studio Pro um, stippling brush and I never used to use uh, these type of brushes before because I don't know for me stippling brushes are um, they have to be a little stiff to apply foundation but I never used to use any like fluffy sort of blush uh, brush so when I did um, find this in my collection again I was like you know what let me start using it because it was just always sitting in my brush holder and I never picked it up so now I use it to uh, blend out all my um contour and my blush and my highlight at the end um i just like to go over it like this in like a circular motion just to blend out everything <clears throat> and i also use it to apply face powder sometimes but mostly i like it to blend uh, out all three of them and it really gives like a nice um finish to it it doesn't have it doesn't show any like harsh lines in between the three of them the contour the blush and the highlight so i really love this brush it's really soft bh cosmetics have good brushes and this came in a set of um i think it was their studio pro set um which i highly recommend if you guys are want to get some good quality brushes from bh cosmetics so 
loving this uh, brush. I was about to say blush. Loving this brush right now. All right, so my next favorite has got to be my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is an oldie but a goodie. Um, actually, when I first got it, I didn't like it so much because I feel like Maybelline skipped out some um, numbers or shades in between when they came out with the Fit Me Matte and Poreless line. You, in my in the original uh, Fit Me Foundation, I am in the shade, um, I believe. Uh, I believe it's 240, 240 golden caramel or something like that. I forget the name or what it is. But yeah, it's the number 240 in the original um, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And they didn't have 240 when they came out with Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. So it was a really hard time for me to find the right match for me. Um, and I find that this range has more of like a pink undertone uh, foundations more than golden yellow uh, foundations and I really enjoy using um, foundations which are more like golden based or yellow based foundation because it matches my skin tone a lot better so for a while I didn't pick this up and I just ignored it and recently what I've been doing it doing is mixing this with my original um, fit me foundation just to get my right shade and the other day I was in Duane Reed um, and I actually found uh, the shade which I think was a close very close match to the number 240 I forget what the number is but it was a really close match so once I run out of this I'm probably gonna get that one and I will keep you guys posted if you guys are really interested to get this foundation and if you guys have the same skin tone as me and if you guys are having a hard time finding the right shade for you um, I will keep you guys updated um, if I end up buying that foundation but yeah I'm loving that foundation for now it gives a very nice matte finish to it and like I said I mix it up with the other foundation and it works okay for me the color doesn't bother me at all so it matches perfectly so loving that foundation for now so my other favorite for this month has been my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I am such I'm probably like the last person on earth to get this mascara like seriously this came out last year everyone raved about it everyone loved it and um, I was like you know what I have to get it and I finally got it I think I got it um, in the month of December and I have been using this non-stop I do not usually uh, every day wear my winged out eyeliner to work and stuff so I really wanna um, you know like for me, my everyday makeup would be to enhance my natural beauty and for me, um, applying some mascara really brings out my eyes. So I have been loving wearing this to work and just mascara and I sometimes don't even curl my lashes and I absolutely love this mascara. I finally understand all the hype about this and I think I'm gonna get the new one that they came out with. It came out in the black tube and I really love the packaging. It's amazing. It has that mascara smell to it, like how a mascara would smell. I really love the applicator. The wand is amazing and it really helps to um, roll the eyelashes. This actually reminds me of the Benefits, uh, I think it's the Roller Lash Mascara. I haven't used it, but if I were to use it, I think it would be the same one basically. So yeah, I love this mascara and I am enjoying it so far. My next favorite has been a lifestyle favorite and that is uh, the gym. Me, my husband and his cousin recently started going back to our local gym and let me tell you guys, we have stopped. We signed up for our gym membership like last year and we went throughout all of summer. We were really like focused on losing weight and being just healthy and fit, you know, so we were always like regularly going and it was, it was great. And then the holidays came around and we just stopped going it was such a waste like I had to tell my husband you know we're paying money monthly we should just go like you know but then again it was the holidays so we like slacked off but it is the new year and definitely one of the resolutions is to hit the gym and be healthy more than losing weight for me it's important to be healthy and fit to feel more energized and feel really good about yourself so that has definitely been my favorite and i really love going to the gym for another reason and that is because of my nike running shoes these i got last year actually Th these are not like a new pair 
these are the Nike um, I believe it's the free run line and it is free line yeah it's the Nike free in 4.0 and um, I got it in the hot pink color and I love it. It really makes me feel happy and I really love working out in these. Um, they're so soft and comfy. They, they, like it's, Nike just has their sneakers down. I mean, it's so soft and I just love it. It feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It's such a good shoe if you're running on the treadmill. I really really love this shoe so yeah if and I highly recommend you guys if you guys really want to lose weight and if you want to go to the gym and be really focused um, you should definitely invest in a good quality um, shoe a running shoe or like workout shoe you should definitely um, spend some good amount of money for that because it lasts you for a long time and you know it's you're investing in something that's definitely worth it so yeah I'm loving my shoes and I'm loving the fact that we decided to go back to the gym. Alright guys, so that is it for all of my January favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I think I will keep doing this monthly favorites video. I will definitely find or try to find something that I'm really enjoying um, for the month and I will film it. And I really... I'm really happy that I started filming this series and because everybody does it and I would definitely say that watching monthly favorites on YouTube is definitely one of my favorites because you get to discover so many new people you know I just look up um, monthly favorites 2016 or you know 2015 for last year and you discover so many new people that way so you really get to know a lot of different products that you might have not heard about before so yeah I love enjoying uh, monthly favorite videos on YouTube and I really hope you guys enjoy my watching my monthly favorites from now on um, thank you so much for watching as always I love you guys so much Please do let me know if you guys are enjoying this um, video quality and if you guys would like for me to film in this new setup in the comments down below. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will leave all of my social media links down below as well. So make sure to follow me on all of my social media and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!